The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm constantly surprised and fascinated by the range of debate in this House, in this house both in terms of topics and tone. Uh, we swing from the weighty and the profound to the mundane and the trivial, from poignancy and kindness to cruelty and pettiness regularly and often without any warning whatsoever. But one thing that is a constant through our work here in this House is the concept of balance whether that's in budget deliberations where the balance between income and expenditures is our principal guide, or virtually any bill you care to mention, which is always a balance of various rights and responsibilities, or the very processes of this House itself. It's all ultimately about finding balance. On Wednesday, I did an interview where the reporter asked me how I felt about the environmental benefits that have come about as a result of this COVID, which is shutting down our economy. And he cited the return of wildlife to our urban spaces and the clean air over cities that are usually permanently enveloped in smog and the, and the reduction of greenhouse gases. And I answered by saying that yes, those are, that has happened, but COVID has been devastating in so many ways to our health, to our health systems, to our economy, to our society, and that if there is a, a very tiny, thin, pale silver lining to that huge, dense cloud, you could look at those benefits that way. But I also went on to say that it felt wrong to celebrate those as gains because they've come at a disproportionate cost. It felt unbalanced. For years, I have talked about how I believe that our human society is developed to be out of balance with the natural world on which we depend. As our numbers and our ability to exploit resources has grown, our impacts on the natural world have also expanded to the point where we are dangerously out of balance. Whether that's on the resource side, where we continue to deplete our oceans of fish and our land of soil and trees and other species, or on the waste side, where those emptying oceans get filled up with plastic, or where we have managed to change the entire chemistry of the atmosphere to create a climate emergency, we are clearly and increasingly out of balance with our home Mother Earth. We are a remarkable species, and we should be capable of finding ways to live on this planet for as long as the sun shines. COVID has taught us many things, including that we can change quickly and dramatically if we need to and we have a will to. We should be able to, and indeed we must, and in short order, find balance between our economic ambitions, our societal well-being, and planetary health. Thoughtless economic growth can no longer be our guiding principle if we wish to find this balance. We need to be more thoughtful, recognizing the limits imposed by a finite world, but also fiercely unafraid to plumb the limitless potential of humanity to be smart, innovative, and caring. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.